some vixens, little vixen here, and welcome to my next episode of Pokemon Imperium. Um, in the last episode, we made it through this maze of cyborgs. So I suggest to come to this thing, Arch Cyborg. Um, now the reason we're halfway through this match is because I didn't think that I was going to beat this thing, but Pelastorm with its second scold literally has just got the burn, and we are at 2:43. I think if I can heal up. We might be okay. I'm hoping, anyway, because I brought some more. Well, there's a very nice um, vending machine, just a little bit, and I'm just trying to figure out who I need to heal up. <sighs> thing is, this thing is Dark Pulse. That's the only thing in Tesla Cannon. Nothing really resists the Tesla Cannon. So it's good. In you. There's the Dark Pulse. Come on, Pelestorm, I need you to live that. Thank you. Leftovers. Burn heal the burn damage though, go down. Okay, I can live one more. I can live a dark pulse with Pelestorm, so that's fine. So let's max heal you up. Dark pulse I can live. The Pelestorm. And it went to 31, that was 51. Oh, excuse the washing machine. 157. Okay, we might be able to do this. I just think I just need to keep on healing up Pelistorm. Because he can survive a Dark Pulse. If he can survive a Dark Pulse, and the thing carries on using the Flash Cannon now. Do we survive a Flash Cannon? Yes, we do. I think this is it. I think I just need to carry on healing up Pelistorm. So far, we've managed to survive Dark Pulse and Flash Cannon moves. I have nine max potion, uh, four max potions, one forest off, four, four hyper potions. So that's max potion off again. Come on, Pillar Storm. You were so good in my last in the gym, and that I needed you. And you're going to be golden here as well. I love the fact that in this game, Pillar got an evolution that was 28. Oh, 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 one, one, one. Oh, come on. We can do this. I've tried this so many times, and this is the only time I have managed to get the burn on this thing. With gold. The world, though, this, the move, the world is mwah, pure awesome. 33. 144. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. 78. I knew if we could get the burn or something like that, it would be golden. This thing is pure steel type. I mean, look at it, it's a freaking cyborg. I mean, I have two fire types and a fighting electro type, but at the moment. Can the storm! Mm. I wonder if I can get one close combat off. I need to heal him, though. I need to heal him. Or do I just revive something else? I'm just going to revive, actually. I have six of them. Yes, let's go into Dogra. Okay, 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 come on. On Dark Pulse. He needs to survive the Dark Pulse. I know he does. Come on, this burn has got to be crucial right now. Twelve. Do we outspeed? I wonder if we outspeed. If I can heal him up. Alright, I'm going to use my last max potion on him. Because this should be it. This should be it. Inu should be able to... He lives a Dark Pulse. I know that much. Tessa Clan, he doesn't, but Dark Pulse he does. Let him present the burn! To secure that win. Ooh! Thank you, Inu. Thank you, Pella Storm. So I've got 860. Don't like... Zooming ahead here. Oh man, failure. Exit one. Termination of failure. Battery drained. Not connected to power source. Shutting down. Kid, did you fight this thing, Vixen? Yeah, I could have done with some help though. Crow 
you strolled me. Crow? Um, never mind, forget about that. It's a friend's name. Or a next name. Rather, but anyways, yeah. I defeated the strange robot. Crow, huh? I kinda like that nickname. Dizzy getting Dizzy Dizzy Ting Dizzy. It collapsed. Looks like it's down for good. It said deleting data, but if its core shut down before it deleted all of it, it would just make it easier for us to find what was the most important thing. The stuff it didn't want us to find. Let's see. There are several corrupted documents in this directory. Let's follow the trail. Hmm. This one seems important. File name Project Zircon. Confidential, 1987, July. This is the follow-up to your previous inquiry. We have stationed our agents in Kanto, and we are waiting for the big move of Bill's equipment and data over to Omeria region. We will do our best to continue his legacy and finish the fusions project he started. Okay. The new condition, continuation project will be codenamed Project Z Zircon. As part of this project, our goal will be to close in on the perfect method of fusing Pokemon and humans. The of creating the ultimate soldiers. So these military sons of a bee doof he didn't want to swear, are responsible for this mess, huh? With help of SR Archaeology, Sir Richard, whatever the archaeologist is, team, we discovered the lore per pertaining to the ancient race of powerful Pokemon, like creatures will still exist in some form. As the second objective of Project Zircon to resur resurrect these creatures and bring them to under the organization's control. We have devised a way of measuring the energetic traces of these creatures. We dubbed Z-Energy. Its footprint is alarmingly similar to that of a radioactive decay and is not harmful to humans. This method of measuring this energy will greatly benefit our research. Holy shuckle! What is it with these dudes are going for here? Let's see. These are corrupted. Okay, here's one. Phone name, Tower Report. Confidential of 1989, December. Today, the engineers finalized all the installation for the Zincron Tower. Once we give the green light, we will supply the need needed 941 gigawatts of power to the tower. The two regions shall experience power outage for several days due to this, but we must proceed. Amendment to the report. We failed to summon Zin. Zinium? Using the tower. We detected a large outburst of Z energy that spread throughout the regions, but no sign of the Hedges Empion and Project Zincon will most likely be cancelled now due to the collapse of the tower and the high cost of 1919 January. Health tower attachment. Preliminary findings show the outburst of energy had an effect on Pokemon throughout the Omnia region. Some of them developed new forms and an elemental type that we have never seen before. No negative effects on health have been observed yet. 1919 March. Final point on this matter. All of the fusions we managed to proceed turned into to be highly unstable. Within minutes of fusing the subjects, the final form would collapse onto itself, leaving us with lifeless spheres in their place. Most likely be discontinued as well. And there's one more before the total corruption. Void of time. Confidential. Nine, nine. Using an array of satellites on Primdome, a newly built space station, we have managed to trace and analyze clusters of the Z-energy throughout the galaxy. We have sent a space probe towards one of the clusters and are hoping to find out the location of the void of time, a timeless pocket in space where Xeno is presumably locked. We have more success with tracing other Empyreans so far. The ancient texts are to be believed after a battle with Arceus, the original one, locked the Paul away into an inescapable dimension, prison of time. Perhaps freeing others first will show 
somehow loosen the grip of the prison and Pray is calling me. Pray, hold on, I'll put you on speaker. As far as Bordev, well, I see one of his aides, which I then followed out of the factory. Where are you now? Inside factory o one now. There was a secret locked door there that they used. Shuckle. I'm hesitant to engage them. They have Celebi with them. Celebi? It's a black and white Celebi, however. I've never seen one like this. What should I do? Hold on there, we're coming as fast as... Uh, when is that light? Wait, they're, they're gone? Gone? What do you mean gone? I believe they've travelled through time. I heard them mention yeah, the early thirty. No, I'm not 100% sure. Shuckle, man. Okay, let's meet outside. This is crazy, and it's getting crazier by the second. What's next? Aliens? It's outside. I pray they will be wailing. Well, we have cyborgs and fusing humans with Pokemon, so why not freaking aliens? I'm just hoping none of these robots are gonna like try and stop me as I get out. That's the only thing, because I don't think I have an escape room to get out of here. Um, let's have a look. Don't think I do. I would also like to heal if that is possible because I beat that one. So we've managed to heal. I wonder if I can bypass these two robots. I know that was just to get to that one. It wasn't actually the way out. Oh, nope. Oh, this is going to be a pain. That said something different then. The text was different. So different than the text before. Come on, we have this. I need to get out of here without these robots like taking too much damage off of the typhlosion. I mean, he's gonna level up in a bit anyway. Said so the same thing in the end at Failure Exit 2. Right, let's just heal up again. There's a heavy version for that damage. Right. Hold this platform. I think if I can sneak on the way. I want to know what that TM is. I can't get it though. No, come here. Hold this platform, don't we? And head out. This way, there they are too. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop them, Vixen. Vixen! It looks like our search here has come to an end. But I'm not done with this. There's something really bad going on here. But we have no means of following them into the future, or wherever they have, may have went. The only thing to do, to do so would be to find Sylvie. Then that's what I'll do. I'll find her, and I'm going to end those fools that do not know when it's time for them to step down and be gone. Because I'm going back to Austria, but I'll only stay there for a short time. Enough time for you to challenge me and get your seventh match. But darling, you won't be able to operate a boat boat. Um, proceed with your journey, am I right? Yep. If you don't require my assistance finding Celebi, Karen, I'll head back to the Pokemon they then. Vixen, I hope to see you as a challenger there one day. Yeah, you go back. I've held up on you up long enough. Alright, I'll be expecting you at the gym, Vixen. Okay, so what level this is this guy gonna be like? Nope, nope, nope. I don't have anybody that will probably be able to learn Sacred Sword. I hide you, which says Asterisk. Yes, I do. All aboard then. 
I don't even know what type of Pokemon he's going to be having. I need to go and heal up though. Like, badly. Uh, let's go and heal. Ah, plus I have to remember where the hell the gym is in this place. And I'm like, even finding how type he is. Right, let's see if we can find where the gym is. Oh wait, it's down here, isn't it? Not here, that's the harbour. They're here. Is Oh, he's a water type, isn't he? Just freaking zap can and everything. I don't think I have anything else to help me right now. Apart from Zap Cannon, kind of, because I have nothing of fine enough level that to help me. Can we just go straight to him? Because that would be kind of cool. Because I battled all these people. Let's go. Let's save. Let's run. Let's take on the Sun's Gym Leader. We know it's a water type. Oh, finally showed up, Vixen. Welcome to the Astoria Gym. As you may have guessed from the ceiling, this gym officially specializes in water and steel types. Officially, unofficially, I like to use all sorts of Pokemon, reduced to the weakness of the team. As the whole gym type specialization system is a joke, if you ask me. Gym captains should have a variety of Pokemon. Oi, oi. Okay, not everyone can screw the rules like I do. So, that was it for the introduction, Vixen. Are you ready to challenge me? Are you on Peps? Should I say Crow? The gym battle of the seventh gym match. Yes, I am. Let's go. Of course. That's what you're here for. Alright, then let's get at it. I've got the burn this time on the bronze one. That's good. Still put up stealth rocks though. Da -da. Miss. Uh, poison this time around. Be more effective. As soon as that thing comes back out, that front song is dying. Yeah, we're not messing about with freaking an empolio now. Oh, so you knew up to level 77. I mean, how much more higher level do I have to be to beat you? Charizard? No. Oh, I survived an earthquake to get a Volt Tackle then. And not have recoil damage. Kill me. Okay, okay, that's fine. Hell storm can come in. Make it rain. And go for the world. And then we scold. And then we scold again. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Take out the Charizard. That's what I like to see. 
So we're still on time freeze, so time for against gold. Trevor doesn't get to you, sucker punch. There we go, Pepper Storm, you beast of a beauty. Gotcha. Gold. Poison jab. Come on, let me get another the gold in here. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. For us. And then you ice beam this thing. I am going to heal up Boras. I only had three revives left, I didn't realise that. I didn't think I had any left. That's fine, I'm thinking like Dyke is a burn. There, done. Don't even know why you sent it back out. No, your guard jump is going to die. And then I just need to worry about that Vaporeon, don't I? Where's in the I don't care whether you have a shield right now. Thank you. Yeah, rough skin, that's fine. Vaporeon! Because whatever you do to me is not going to be that effective. Fine. Those leftovers did not look like they healed at all. And the punch. Yeah, that's not very effective again. It's from a typhlation. I'm gonna get surfed, aren't I? Hmm? Okay. Nice beam. Should have surfed me back. Should have surfed. <laughs> There's the surf. About to say that ice beam would have. Alright, and pardon. I just need you to brick break. There we go. That's Crow done. Whew! That took some tries. You know, lately this job started to get boring for me. But having fought you now really reminded me why I became a gym captain in the first place. It was the battles like these, man. Good job fixing it. Hey, you deserve this, really. The droplet badge. With that badge, the soft level cap for your Pokemon will now be 90. And here's a supplementary prize. Obtained a boat. Now I can surf. Without boat, nothing shall stand in your way. Well, maybe some waterfalls still might, but it's complete your journey here, and with my duties as well. Are you gonna look for Sotheby now? Yeah, that's the plan. I can't let these things happen around me. I don't think in my might to stop that war dev guy. As for when the hell will I even begin looking for Sotheby, I'll start with Elix Forest, Jota. She's probably not there anymore, but I have no other place to start. Either way. Alright, everything's settled. Good luck on your journey forward, Sixon. I became a time traveler. Well, I'll probably be getting to Royal Island to help you with the handling of Lady. Uh, without handling Lady Shimoka in time. Until next time, then. So, where am I heading next? Alright, let's head out of here. Seriously, like, where am I going next? Am I heading to Warring Island? Is that where I'm heading next? I mean, I have surf now, so. 
there are a few options for us. Head back to places to check things out and do a few things. But I think this is where I'm going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep an eye out because there might be something else coming up on the channel rather than Pokemon. Catch you guys next time. Bye!